Hello, here we're going to learn how to solve for the marginal rate of technical substitution using five numerical examples. So here's our first production function. And to get the marginal rate of technical substitution, we're going to first get the marginal product of labor. It's going to be the partial derivative of the production function with respect to labor. So the partial derivative of 2L with respect to labor is just 2. And then the marginal product of capital is going to be a, another partial derivative, and in this case it's just 4. The marginal rate of technical substitution is the ratio of the marginal products of labor. So the marginal product of labor divided by the marginal product of capital will give us the marginal rate of technical substitution. 2 divided by 4, we have a MRTS in this example of 1 half. Example 2, we have this production function. We're going to get the marginal product of labor. This 1 half in the exponent comes down in front, so 1 half times L. And then on this exponent, we're going to take 1 half minus 1, leaving us with L raised to the minus 1 half power. And we don't have to do anything with the K term. The marginal product capital, the partial derivative of K is just 1. And since that 1 is being multiplied by L to the 1 half, we retain the L to the 1 half power. Forming the ratio of those marginal products, we get this result here. I'm going to take this L to the minus 1 half and move that into the denominator. So in the denominator, we'll have L to the 1 half times L to the 1 half, which is just L. And so we get K divided by 2L is our marginal rate of technical substitution. Example 3. Here we have a slightly different looking production function. The marginal product of labor. This 1 half times 6 is where this 3 is coming from. And then 1 half minus 1 leaves us with L raised to the minus 1 half power. And we don't do anything with the K term. The marginal product capital. This 1 third times 6 is where this 2 is coming from. We don't do anything with the L term. And then K raised to the 1 third power. We're going to subtract 1 from it. And that leaves us with k raised to the minus 2 thirds power. Forming the marginal rate of technical substitution and simplifying, we're going to move this l to the minus 1 half down into the denominator. So that's where this l is coming from. And then we're going to move this k to the minus 2 thirds up in the numerator. So in the numerator, you'll now have k to the 1 third times k to the 2 thirds, which is just k. Example 4. The marginal product of labor, 2 times 100 is 200. 2 minus 1 on this exponent here just leaves us with L. And we don't do anything with the k squared term. Bringing this 3 down in front, so we're going to get minus 3L squared. The, the squared part is because we're subtracting 1 from that 3 on the L exponent. The marginal product of capital. This is going to be 2 times 100, so the exponent on the k term gets multiplied by the 100 out in front. And then we subtract 1 from that k exponent, and we're left with this. And then finally, this exponent on k comes down in front, and subtract 1 from that exponent on the k, and we have the marginal product of capital. And forming the marginal rate of technical substitution, we get this result here. I'm not going to simplify it any further. And in our final example, we have the production function, the firm's output, as 0.5 times the natural log of labor plus 0.75 times the natural log of capital. Get the marginal product of labor. So the partial derivative of the natural log of L is going to be 1 over L. And since that's being multiplied by 0.5, we have 0.5 in the numerator. The marginal product of capital. So the partial derivative of the natural log of k here, just bring that k down into the denominator. And then that 0 0.75 is being multiplied throughout. Forming the ratio and simplifying, 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.75 is just 2 thirds. So we get 2 thirds k divided by l. All right, that's it.